So the main question before us is, what are wine glasses made of and why? You may think, well, they're made out of glass. A glass is made out of glass. <laughs> Hold on, wine glasses are made of a whole host of things, different elements or materials. And the, those things affect wine differently. And for wine, some of the material are better than others. We're going to cover three categories. The various materials wine glasses are made of, we'll compare several of our recommended type of glasses, and the third is we'll give you some tips on how to choose your wine glass. Keep in mind, if at any time you like what you hear, click the like or subscribe or hit the little bell so that you'll be notified when there's a new post. Uh, the first thing or the first piece of the puzzle is the various material. Remember, specific glass varieties can open up flavors in wine that may otherwise not be accessible to your olfactory sensors. So choosing the proper glass or wine glass is essential to giving you the best tasting experience. Now there are ceramic glasses. This is a durable type of glassware made and formed from clay. Uh, by comparison, it's relatively thick and heavy. Uh, they come in a variety of colors from blues and whites to almost clear. Actually, ceramic glass is more relevant in commercial use, such as cooktops. There's also porcelain glassware. These are typically white, frequently with designs or pictures on them. Porcelain is frequently popular in certain cultural settings. Occasionally, you'll find them clear. The white porcelain glasses are somewhat heavy. They're thick and bulky. The clear, compared to glass, are thick. The next is plastic glassware. Uh, these are glasses good on outdoor patios and active occasions. Now, a recent addition to the glassware material family is silicone. Then comes crystal and glass. Actually, glass and crystal, these are the second categories in what we're, we're covering today. Our recommended material. Backing up a second, it's noteworthy to let you know that plastic and silicone have become increasingly important to wine because they're well suited for poolside, in a boat, or at the beach. Plastic and silicone are convenient, but remember, they're not intended to maximize taste. <laughs> by the way, when I'm talking about being suited up and silicone by the pool or beach, I'm still talking about wine glasses. Back to glassware. Uh, the most prevalent wine glasses are made out of glass or crystal. These two are the best bet for delivering the best taste. Now, let me take you back to high school geometry for just a minute. Wine glasses are typically made out of glass or crystal. Here's the geometry part. Not all glass is crystal, but all crystal is glass. When it comes to crystal, the main difference is that crystal has a greater presence of lead in it. More recently, you'll find the addition of uh, manganese or, and or zinc instead of uh, just the uh, only, only lead. The most important thing about the lead is that the added lead controls the temperature and enables the wine's aromas and flavors to be accentuated and linger. But also, in crystal, the lead softens the glass, therefore making it more easily cut and engraved, which enables the glass or crystal to reflect light adding a new beauty to the, the glassware. Typically, crystal is heavier, more expensive, and allows you, your wine to express itself more and even longer. The rim or the edge of the glass can be very thin, but still quite strong. This is one thing that makes crystal glass bring out the best in wines. Also, it's porous and should be hand washed. If you're at all concerned about lead, there is another type of crystal, lead-free crystal, which is made out of uh, zinc oxide, barium oxide, or potassium oxide with a touch of manganese in it also. Uh, it's not only durable, but it's also, uh, many of them are, are dishwasher safe. Frankly, as we look more closely at it, the wine is not in contact with lead long enough to allow the lead to leach into the wine. How are we doing there? Is this information making sense to you? If it is, write ASTI in the comments below. Okay. When it comes to glass, glass is typically thicker and more durable. It's non-porous and inert, which means that it will not absorb chemical aromas 
or corrode if you wash in the dishwasher. So it's dishwasher safe and affordable. Glasses frequently has a lip or a rim at the rim for durability, which makes it less desirable for allowing wine to express itself. Uh, there's another type of glass, uh, borosilicate glass, which has some great potential. It has high durability and is heat and scratch resistant. Our final piece of comparison is there are several ways to determine if a glass is made of crystal. In light, crystal acts like a prism. It will refract like a rainbow. When tapped with a finger or fork, it also produces a musical ring. If you run your finger around the rim, the crystal glass, it will produce a clear, constant tone. So the difference between crystal and glass are thickness, clarity, light refraction, cut, sound, weight, and affordability. The number three thing that we're looking at are some tips to choose your wine glasses. Uh, the best way to start is to think about your personal situation. Do you hate washing dishes by hand? Then look for lead-free crystal or glasses. We'll call these standard glasses. Uh, do you have an active family member? An active family member? Do you or a family member or friend tend to spill or drop or break things? Go with the standard glass. Do you love to have the best crystals for you? As a unique special gift for a friend or loved one, crystal's the way to go. You know, what I do is I have several special crystal glasses for special occasions. It's a little thing, but it definitely makes a difference. Keep in mind, when choosing between the two depends entirely on individual taste and budget. That helps my throat a little bit. Well, there you have it. Everything you need to know about what wine glasses are made of and why. If you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe for new videos that come out every single week and give it a like if you liked it. If there's someone you know that's interested in wine, make sure you share this video with them and ring the bell to be notified when I post other videos. Folks, I'm here to help and serve you as we learn more about wine together. Thank you.